So you want to play recoil on your Windows 10 PC, but you're running into all sorts of problems. Well, look no further, you found the right video. Before the end of this video, I'll show you three different ways of getting recoil working on Windows 10. In fact, the final method works with all different types of games and software on XP. But let's get started with method one. We're going to use the nGlide method. Um, this is a program I've used for a really long time to get old uh, games working. Uh, old 3D games working on modern. In fact, I even started using this in Vista just to get XP games working. So it's a really old program, totally free, and I'll send you a link in the description. So what we want to do is just open up, open. So make sure you follow exactly what I do. So you have to run nGlide first. Make sure you, if you have Recoil installed, you uninstall it, install it completely, remove it. Once you've installed, it'll just say you can now play 3DFX Glide games. So basically, uh, Recoil is just like um, uses old 3D technology that's just not used anymore. So. Um, that will fix that problem um, without going into too much detail. Um, as I showed before, um, I'm using Daemon Tools to mount Recoil uh, instead of putting the disc in if you guys don't have a disc. Uh, I went over this in a previous video which I will also link and talk about later. But uh, your next step is to either insert your disc or mount your disc and then um, run the install as an admin. And the way to do that um, if, in case you're wondering, is go in here and actually click on the disk and then hover over the auto menu and then run as administrator. And that'll give you administration privileges, um, make sure it installs uh, the way it should. So just hit install and uh, the install should come up. I'm going to just uh, skip this install, uh, skip the loading so you don't have to watch it. But you know, just go folder doesn't create, uh, create it, and then just let it load. You can see that I'm running a completely freshly installed version of Windows 10, and that's just to rule out any anomalies there might be. Um, one thing I will say is there may be some other software on your machine that's preventing you from playing Recoil. Um, that just over time Windows. Uh, operating systems just build up lots of junk and may prevent or conflict with each other so if you're following exactly what I'm doing right now and it doesn't work the problem is your version of Windows 10 and uh, you may want to consider completely uh, wiping your computer and restarting like reinstalling from factory settings if you don't want to do that keep watching because there are two more methods that you might want to try first once the install has loaded, it'll ask you if you want to install Westwood online. I just hit no, because I'm not going to play this online. I don't want to read the readme, and I just hit yes for DirectX 6. I'm not entirely sure if uh, Windows 10 has that or not, but I just install anyway. Uh, and that's really it in terms of the install. What you want to do now, make sure whenever you're actually running this, is you basically just have to run it from... Uh, down in here, run recoil 3D FX. You should have, like, if you've done a standard in install, it'll just give you this. But because we have nGlide installed, it'll give you this mode. Um, and just go ahead and hit that. Oh, and then one other thing I'll ask is this direct play install. Just install this feature. Um, I don't really know what it is, to be honest, but it's a very quick install. Just hit OK. Close that up. Um, it'll load up. Uh, and that's really it. That's that's one method of getting it working. So if I, if I start now You can see that the game loads up perfectly fine and um, just the way it should So I'm now back on my main PC and I've got the next method for you, which is DG Voodoo uh, 2 So honestly, um, I've tried this out. Let me just run it for you here um, this gives like lots of different options and uh, like which is really good. it's got glide options as well just like nGlide does it's got DirectX op options and this is like a much more advanced version of nGlide I would say or like you could get you could customize a lot more and um, this method is actually um, something that was posted by um, Etherlords. Etherlords was the guy who originally gave me the disc this is my first video on recoil here where I show you how to download and play it. Back then I was using Windows 7 and uh, I didn't actually, um, I didn't have Windows 10 so I couldn't test this out but I now have Windows 10 and that's why I'm making this video. 
Um, but Ether Lords has basically um, given a step-by-step -step guide on how to get DG Voodoo 2 to work. Um, I find it a little bit complicated and that's why I went the end glide route, but I've pinned this to my previous um, video and I've also, um, I'll also put in the description a step-by-step -step guide on how to use that. Um, but yeah, the, Windows 10 not working was by far the most commented thing on this video and this is why I'm making this as well. People are saying how to run this and um, they're getting all sorts of problems. Uh, yeah, this one here, failed to initialize video. Um, again, that's that's all going to be fixed with Englide. Um, but yeah, most of my comments um, are people saying that they couldn't use this in Windows 10. And back whenever I made this, I couldn't actually test it out. I just knew that Etherlords um, was playing it on Windows 10. And the way he was playing it was using DG Voodoo. So again, I'll link to where you can download that and uh, how to fix it. I'm not going to show you how to do it because honestly, I actually found it a little bit more complicated than Englide. So um, I didn't use it, but uh, the option's there and you can try out Etherlords' um, step-by-step guide. And I know it works because Etherlords said it works. Um, so that's the that's, that's the Englide and Voodoo methods. The final method is um, something called VirtualBox. I'm going to load it up here. Uh, this will virtually let you run um, an operating system and basically what um, I'm using this for is to virtually run uh, XP um, and that, that way there is no compatibility issues, uh, you don't have to run any software or anything like that because you're, you are running XP um, but you're just running it within Windows 10. Now it takes a little bit of time to set this up but um, there's so many videos and you, I'm not going to show you how to set up on this, um, but there are just so many videos um, on YouTube already that exist. So there's no point in me um, making this video any longer than it has to be. The one thing you will find though is whenever you try, um, I have the recoil disc, so I could literally just pop the disc in right now and just start playing. Um, but uh, if you don't have the disc, what you'll need is um, the demon tools again. But what will happen is if you click on uh, the installer, um, it'll not let you pl it'll not let you install it because it needs um, this uh, framework installed. So, okay, I had to reinstall um, XP there because uh, I I already installed the framework and stuff whenever I was testing this. But um, the what you'll have here is whenever you try and get Demon Tools again, if you have the recoil disc at this point, you just put it in and just play it. Um, but if you don't have the recoil disc, which is understandable because these things, it's a pretty rare game actually, um, and you try and mount the file like I did before, uh, what happens is you'll you'll come up with this problem. Uh, Net Framework 4.0 is not installed. Um, so all of these uh, newer uh, programs you try and install on XP won't work unless you have this framework, which again, I'll send a link to. Um, Basically, just run run the file, run the framework. Um, it's just a Windows update essentially, which lets you um, use more modern installers and programs. Um, honestly, the hard part you're going to have here is just getting the um, getting uh, your XP uh, virtual machine up and running. Um, like I said, there's loads of videos though that, that go into great detail on how to actually get it running and um, there, there is a little bit of playing about but once you have up and run, I can't tell you how much fun I have just in XP, like even just um, going up and playing some of the old games like uh, you know Solitaire, Minesweeper, all these sort of games, Pinball, it's so much fun. Um, I used to play this game all the time whenever I was a kid. And even Solitaire and uh, Minesweeper and stuff like that, like this game is just uh, so fun. Um, so we go new game. I haven't actually played it in a little while, so I can't remember what the controls are. I don't know what the f paddles are. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I, I, I've actually got loads of demos and stuff as well, which, which I plan on playing. Yeah, that game's fun, um, and I and they're all like XP, like really old demos. So I'm going to be playing them in here. Let me just skip ahead um, until this once this framework has been installed. Okay, the framework has been installed. Now it should let me run the um, 
demon tools again we're going with a free license here we just need to mount the disc we don't need anything fancy um oh and it, uh yeah you need to make sure um your your things connected to the to the internet my i've currently i think i've turned the internet off on this um because because this is run like an old version of Windows, um, it wouldn't be safe to use this for anything other than playing games. So I wouldn't recommend you use this to like view your emails or do anything because it's probably going to get hacked. So I've uh, currently turned the internet off. Okay, I'm just re-enabling the internet. Let's see. Um, I think it's connected. Let's try again. See if it'll download this time. There you go. Download. It's quite a small download actually. I think so. Shouldn't take too long, then we'll just go to install and just go through the normal steps. There's nothing really to worry about here, I don't think. I mean, you're, it's running a virtual version of it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Run daemon tools. Close that. And all we want to do, just like before, is mount our recoil disc. That little noise means that it's been mounted. And just install the game. Like, we don't really have to do anything fancy here because um, there's no compatibility issues, there's no um, graphic card issues. This game was designed to be played on Windows XP, and that's essentially what we are doing right now. So, again, I'll skip the installation stage. In fact, it's doing it pretty quickly. It's actually doing it quicker here than it was on uh, Windows 10, <laughs> a lot quicker. Um, probably because it was designed for that. Uh, do you want? No, I don't want to do the online. No, I don't want to read it. I guess we'll again install that just in case. But that's, I think that's us. Um, if I click, my screen may like um, go down in size a little bit, but I think we should be good to go. It's important to make sure the, the aspect ratio is the same um, as whatever you're virtually running as well. So like, let me just um, come out of the full screen here. Say if I go to the um, virtual screen and I'll just put the virtual screen to whatever um, recoil can handle right now. We'll go to 800 because, uh, sorry, yeah, 800 by 600 because that's what I've allocated for this little box right now. And we'll go to start. There you have it. Working perfectly fine. And um, you can full screen this afterwards, but uh, let's just go ahead and start up. Uh, let me just... Turn the volume down a little bit because that's kind of loud. Oops. Okay, I accidentally exited out of the software there whenever I was um, trying to turn the volume down, but let's try that again. We'll go ahead and uh, start up. Um, now that my volume's way down, and you can see uh, <clears throat> it's working perfectly fine. So, what's happening right now is uh, my Windows 10 computer is running. Uh, Windows uh, XP and then my XP is running recoil and you'll see that it's you get like absolutely no compatibility issues whatsoever and it works perfectly fine and uh, yeah this is recoil another method of getting it to work if everything else is um, not working for you then just consider um, completely emulating uh, Windows XP and uh, that way really you can't have any problems because it's it's basically playing on the software that it was intended to be played on so this is like the best well it's probably one of the harder ways of getting it to work to be honest but um because there's uh, there is a bit of work going in that goes into setting up virtual box um and uh you know but at least you know that, it, that, that there's three ways of it working there's three ways i know of working um, I hope you guys find this video useful. Um, if you're a bit of a beginner, I would just recommend going with the NGLIDE method. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, if you have any comments, just let me know.